Hello everyone. Welcome back to my project box. Today I'm quite excited about this new little Sonoff product that uh, the kind people from Sonoff have sent me. And you might say, why are you excited about a Sonoff Basic? Well, even though this Sonoff Basic looks exactly like the original one, it's even the same case and everything, um, the new Sonoff Basic R4 has got some magic tricks up its sleeve. Can you feel the magic? Well, on the surface of it, there's nothing special about it, but I'm quite excited about this little device. It can do something that you could never do before. The original Sonoff Basic couldn't connect to a light switch. There was no um, input to connect any wires to the light switch. And I've done videos where you hack the little tactile switch and bring some wires out that you that you have an input to connect an ordinary light switch to it. But uh, this one still doesn't have a switch input. But they've got something called magic switch. Now this is a feature that I'm quite excited about. Now what is magic switch? Well, all you need is a little wire link like this and uh, your light switch across L1 and L2 you bridge them out with a little wire link and by some sort of magic now if you were to power your uh, Sonoff via the switch it can detect the change in position of the light switch and then um, you can turn your load on and off via this uh, changing the switch position and that's insane really because the uh, Sonoff Basic R4 is being powered by the switch but because you've linked this out the switch it itself isn't turning the Sonoff off, but it can somehow d detect the change in position of the switch, and that can act as an input in magic switch mode. And that is really, really cool. <laughs> it means this can go up by your light fixture, and uh, your ordinary light switch can now control this. And what's more, uh, Sonoff does, have not seemed to have mentioned this, but it's even possible to use two-way two lighting and maybe even three-way lighting so that you could have your two switches um, controlling this. And I'll show you how that's possible. So let me show you a practical example of um, how this magic switch from Sonoff actually works in practice. So I've taken out um, uh, the switches from here just so that it's more compact. Um, so it all fits on, on, on camera nicely. So um, as you can see, you've got our live supply feeding the Sonoff via the switch. And the Sonoff is currently on. There's a little blue light there. You can't see it on camera. Um, uh, the Sonoff has its neutral supply. So basically, this is our light fixture up here where it has the neutral. And um, the switch line com coming up to the light bulb. And uh, basically, the Sonoff just goes in between. Now, if I flick the switch, the light comes on. And um, I can now use uh, Google, turn off the basic R4. Sure, turning off BASIC R4. And I can turn it back on again. So what we got there is basically just uh, a little wire link between L1 and L2. And that's our magic switch. And uh, that way, your uh, Sonoff Basic can be permanently powered because no matter which position the switch is in, it always feeds through to the common and it always has power. But somehow, this can pick up the um, change in position of the switch. And it just picks up the glitch of when it flicks between uh, the two contacts, between L1 and L2. There's a brief period when it's not powered. And the capacitor inside here stays charged long enough so it has power for that brief little glitch period when there's no power coming to the Sonoff. It still stays powered, but it detects that glitch, and that's enough to trigger um, the mode. So it knows how to um, detect the switch. So let's try and put two-way lighting in, or like the Americans call it, three-way. Now with two-way lighting, it's exactly the same, 
you only really have to link L1 and L2 out on one of the switches. You can do both, but it's only it doesn't really make a difference since these travelers or these trappers go across the other side. They're effectively linked together whether you do this side or this side or both. Just one side is really needed, but it can be either here or there. Now this is um, now with two-way lighting, and it still works, which is, um, I'm so quite surprised that uh, Sonoff doesn't mention this in their documentation, because this solves a lot of issues. You simply have your Sonoff up by the light fixture, and you don't need any neutral connection uh, behind your light switches at all. Um, and you can have two-way lighting. And um, that's pretty cool. And all you need, all you need is your little link across uh, L1 and L2 on one of the switches. And it can be this switch or that switch or both. It doesn't really matter. Um, but that's pretty neat. It's so simple. And this is going to solve a lot of problems for people. Turn off basic R4. Works great. Another interesting thing that I discovered is you can do a minimalist version where you can even get rid of, rid of one of the strappers or travelers. Um, it's possible if you have one of these little links on either side you just need one wire going across. Uh, and that means that the other ones that were left in there, if you're retrofitting, can be reused for something else. Uh, for, for a second lighting circuit, perhaps. Um, or if you're wiring from fresh, you need less wires. Um, it's just an interesting side note. So look, now you only have one single switch line going through all the switches. And it still works. That's pretty cool. Um, it's not some. It's not something you would do when you're retrofitting necessarily, but um, it might be useful in some situations. Um, I guess if you wanted to add um, two-way lighting when there is none, you can now add it by just breaking into the switch line at any place and then add a second switch. So actually, yes, it is very useful. It's a very easy way to give you two-way lighting when you didn't have any, even if you don't have the wires in place to do it. One really interesting thing that I just thought about now is if you use the single wire method that I just described, um, you can have as many switches in line as you want. And traditionally you would need a special intermediate switch in the middle, but this won't be necessary. You could just keep on adding these um, L1, L2 changeover switches in between in line if you wire them like this, one linking through the other one. It's just one long chain. And this, uh, this works no problem. That's how switches in the middle. And you can keep on going. You can have a long hallway with as many switches as you want in line. That opens up more possibilities as well. I never thought of that before, and it's actually... A super handy feature, something I'm also surprised Sonoff hasn't added in their uh, documentation. I don't know if I'm the one that thought about it, but uh, surely somebody else must have thought about this as well. This is very clever, this magic switch. It certainly is turning out to be quite magical. So I know there's obviously some of you that's asking um, whether it will work with an intermediate switch. Uh, this unfortunately is the only intermediate switch I have. It's a really old grubby one. Um, and of course, to stay in shot, um, I have to wire everything close together. Um, this intermediate switch is, uh, you put an intermediate switch in between your strappers. And if you want more than one um, switch for multi-way switching, you have to put these intermediate switches or crossover switches in the middle. They kind of swap the strappers over. They either go straight across or they cross them over. So this is an ugly little grubby switch, but it proves the point. And, and it still works. You get your intermediate switch action. And then you get your last switch. But it's worth noting that you don't really need an intermediate switch. Um, 
you can simply add ordinary switches now because you've linking the the two strappers together essentially you you just need uh, normal switches and you can put as many as you want in line and you only need the one line going through the single wire method because uh, you just go in link the two together to the next switch in link the two together and out with one wire and carry on as many as as much as you want and you can have as many switches along the way so uh, yeah it opens up new prospects for what you can do now I know some of you living in the UK are probably shouting out by now saying well hang on our two-way lighting isn't wired in this way we have three three strappers going across the light switches um, and this is how you do it with twin and earth in the UK um, now, unfortunately, you can't just put a wire link across one of these switches. Uh, it won't work. Um, the Sonoff will just stay powered all the time. But I think it's possible to retrofit this or retrowire it, um, just leaving the wires in place in the wall and just use one of, the, one of the strappers to come back on yourself and you can just retrowire it um, to the way the Europeans would or how you would do it in singles in the UK. And then you can um, have the wire link. So it would be possible. You just have to um, uh, reuse this strapper and move this uh, wire over to there and this wire over to here and take the strapper out and just reuse it with some terminal blocks. So it's still possible. You just need to do a little bit of uh, rewiring. A bit more work. Now if you have one of these pendant ceiling lights, um, with quite a large cup like this that goes up on the ceiling then your um, basic can fit in there just in line with the wiring um, basically just spliced in there and um, I guess it's also possible to put it directly into certain types of ceiling lights um, bear in mind if it's made out of metal um, you might have issues with it attenuating the Wi-Fi signal a bit um, but it can also probably go above the ceiling if that's an option for you that makes quite an easy retrofit, really. Um, and all you need is on your light switch is your uh, little wire link. And that's it. Um, it can detect the switch. And it, this switch will not turn off the Sonoff Mini. So it's a simple little hack, really. It's quite ingenious. And you can do two-way, one-way lighting, no problem. So, so much potential, really, for this uh, magic switch. I'm sure we'll see more of this in the future. And then I literally had a light bulb moment. What I would like to see is this magic switch mode be put into a smart bulb. That way um, you can just put a smart bulb into any uh, light fixture, uh, put a little wire link uh, behind one of your switches, and you can have one-way lighting and two-way lighting, and it, it can work with light switches just out of the box. Um, and the light switch won't turn the bulb off. It's super clever. This is this is really something that we really handy to see inside a smart bulb in the future. So the magic switch function um, seems to only work with the original Sonoff firmware, but I believe there are some clever people that have made a Tasmoto firmware that can now use the magic switch functionality as well. So if you like this um, this basic R4 and you would like to try it for yourself, there is a link in the description. And um, you can use my coupon code uh, to get a discount. You're also welcome to support me on Patreon. Uh, buy me a cup of coffee or something. Um, it really helps to keep the videos coming. So thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. And um, I'll hope to see you on the next one.